What's up guys? Showing you some, uh, a little bit of a lesson knowing what strings to strum in the key of D. So, uh, just to give you a little bit of a breakdown, these are the chords we need in the key of D. Your D, A sus, B minor, G. So those are the main uh, four chords you're gonna need. Uh, some additional chords we are gonna need in this key is an E minor, maybe a D over F sharp, uh, maybe a C, uh, let's see, what is this one? Uh, a over C sharp. And yeah, I think that's probably it. So if you need help with some of these chords, um, wh where the, the chords are going and, and like what finger placing, uh, finger placement I'm putting for each string, uh, you know, definitely check out uh, the video up top and then in the description below. I'll give you a really good breakdown and walkthrough on that. But for this one, you know, I just wanted to make sure I, I, I showed you uh, exactly what strings you should be strumming because, you know, this is something for whatever reason, I didn't really learn. No one taught me this. So I was just kind of like strumming wildly and aggressively for for a while and I and I didn't realize but like I was if you hit if you hit the wrong strings when you're trying to play a chord it just totally jacks it up and makes it sound terrible. So for instance uh this D chord that's how it should sound but it could sound like this And that's not good. We don't want to hear that because we're adding in this this bass note way up here, the E, the A. Um, so that's the important part of of why I want to show you which strings you should be strumming uh, for for chords in the key of D. So we'll start with the one chord, which is the D chord. So basically, just another quick little tip: if you hear people say the one chord, that just means it's the main chord. It's the so if we're in the key of D the one chord is the D. If we're playing in the key of G, the one chord is the G. If we're playing in the key of C, the one chord is the C. If we're playing in the key of E, the one chord is the, the E chord. So we'll start off with this D. Um, really, ideally, you just want to be hitting the bottom four strings because again, your bass note is the D string which is that fourth string from the top, or I mean fourth string from the bottom. So ideally, you just wanna be strumming those bottom four strings, but I'll be honest, a lot of times I, when you're playing rhythm, you know, you're just gonna probably incidentally hit that A string, which is fine. It's nobody, you, nobody's gonna tell the difference. Uh, you'll be fine. So the, the key thing is for this chord, you wanna make sure you rest your thumb up on this low E string to mute it out. You don't wanna be hearing this. Because again, if you hear this string for your D chord, that just sounds terrible and it ain't gonna fly. So um, just make sure you either mute, and I'm literally just kinda of resting my thumb on there. You don't need to pull it, hold it down because if you hold it down, that's gonna give you a D over F chord, which we'll show you, in, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so you can either just uh, mute out that top string, and that'll free you up on your strumming hand to just kind of go after it without worrying about which strings you're you're hitting. Um, or you know, if you weren't sure about that and you just wanted to intentionally try to strum the bottom four strings or the bottom five strings, you could try to do that too. Personally, it's way easier just to have that thumb resting up there to mute out that string. So anyways, that's the one chord, that's the D chord. Those are the strings you should be strumming. Let's go to the A sus. Uh, similar to the D chord, we wanna rest our thumb up on this low E string because for the A sus chord, the bass note is the A. So that's your second string from the top. So for this chord, we wanna be hitting the bottom five strings.
and then your B minor chord, it's gonna be uh, your bass note, it's same deal on this one. We're gonna keep that thumb kind of resting up there, or if you wanted to bump that ring, uh, that pointer finger into the, the low E string to mute it out, whatever you wanna do. That's usually what I do, but you can try it both ways, see what works better for you. So uh, the bass note for this B minor is this note here where our uh, pointer finger is on the second string from the top, the A string. So just like the A sus, the A chord, you wanna be strumming the bottom five strings. And, and just your natural placement on this B minor, a lot of times, you know, cause you need to reach this finger up to that second string from the, from the top. A lot of times naturally, I just end up muting out this high E string with the kind of the fleshy part on my, um, on my pointer finger. So you can play this chord like, mute it out, you can arch it to get it in there. You can play it with the pinky on there sometimes if you wanted to. Uh, but usually I just end up kind of like muting it out. So next chord is going to be the G chord. And you're gonna strum all of the strings on the G chord, so. And again, similar to that B minor chord, sometimes I like to mute out that high E string. So you can either mute it out, kind of the same deal with your pointer finger, or if you wanted to play it, whatever you want to do. So that one's easy. You're just strumming all of them. And then the E minor chord, um, you're going, sometimes you're going to need this one. Uh, it is the, uh, it's the actual, the, the actually the two chord um, in this uh, key of G. So it's just going to be, you know, if we were playing in the key of G and this was our E minor, um, you know, you, you, I usually, when I'm playing in the key of D and I need this chord, I'll usually just take that pinky finger off and just, just play it like that. And again, this is another one where sometimes I just end up muting that high E string out. You can just, all, all you need to do to hear it is just kind of arch your hands a little bit more. But you know, this this is your bass note, the low E string. So as long as you're hitting that, you're good. So, you know, usually you'll hit all the six, all six strings for that one. Um, the next chord, the D over F sharp, uh, I mentioned that earlier. You can do it a couple of ways. You can do it this way. Or you can just go into your regular D position and wrap that thumb around the low E string on the second fret. And that's your D over F sharp. And you can strum all six strings. Or if you want, if you end up muting it out, that high E string, you can do that too. Um, so that's your D over F, hitting all six strings. And then the last one is this A over C sharp. This is kind of a tough one because you're, you're in your D chord. Um, and I think I've seen it called an A over C sharp and, or an A over D sharp. So you're just in your regular D chord position and then you're stretching this pinky finger up to the A string, the second string from the top on the fourth fret. So it's actually a very tough chord if you're a beginner or even like a, a 
maybe a, an intermediate player. You don't really use this chord a ton, um, but when you do use it, it sounds really good. So it's, it's a nice chord, uh, you're probably not going to need to use a ton, but when you do, you know, that's your bass note that, uh, you know, the string your pinky's on, so you'll just want to strum the bottom five. And usually when I play this chord, I just, it, it just so happens that you're going to end up muting out this D string, the third one from the top you're gonna end up muting that one out with your pinky, and that's fine because your pinky's, the most important thing is you get that pinky on the A string. And as long as you have that, you're good. If you mute out that D string, that's fine. So I think that's primarily all the chords you're gonna need for playing in the key of D, and that shows you a breakdown on, on which strings you need to be strumming uh, for those chords. So. You know, I hope that helps you guys out. I think it definitely will. It could take you from, you know, playing a song and being like, man, why does this sound so terrible? Or why does this sound not as good as it should? Oftentimes, it's because you're not strumming the right strings. You're strumming all the strings. Well, you know, when you shouldn't be. So I think this is going to help you out. I hope it does. If you have questions, leave a comment below and um, I will catch you guys in the next one.